Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new video. Before we dive in, I want to show you Rayboot Pro software by company Tenorshare, and they have world's number one iPhone recovery mode tool. Now, what does it do? It has three basic options. Enters recovery mode very quickly, one click. Exits recovery mode, one click. Now, this is more detailed. Now, this is fixing all your iOS system issues that you might face. You just click fix now and it will resolve all the possible issues like um, stuck on Apple logo, screen that won't turn on, recovery mode loop, etc. So what does it do? Just quickly solve these issues for you and restores your iPhone to the latest signed software by Apple. So highly recommending this software even better than the iTunes. So please go ahead and check it out. You can download it for free and test it and that's it. Hello guys, welcome to the new video, very short one. I wanna show you the top uh, jailbreak detection bypass tweaks that I'm currently using on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And uh, to be honest, disclaimer first, none of these works perfectly none of them will work 100% for all the apps that you want but you can give it give it a try and see which one works best for you now uh, let me start uh, right away i want to say that i have them all installed at the same time on my uh, iphone and i've tested for a few apps some work on on uh, money exchange apps some don't some work on uh, banking apps some don't so let's get on to it. Uh, the first one I'm using is I, a, a, a bypass, A bypass, okay. So A bypass is pretty straightforward and it just gives you the option to, you know, select the apps and go inside and see, you know, just tick those that you need to enable detection uh, bypass. The second one, the second one is Choicey. Uh, sorry, not this one, Choicey. So the Choicey app has a little bit more configuration to do. So you have global tweak configuration where you can have the blacklist uh, or the uh, whitelist overrides. So you have some of the apps which will be ignored once you enable this, this tweak. What is a good thing about this, it gives you this option for 3D touch to launch with or without the tweaks. So if you wanna launch an app, you... okay, so this app this option gives you the ability to choose whether you want to launch a tweak with or without tweaks. So if this app is currently using tweaks, you will see this option launch without tweaks and vice versa. So this is what uh, Choicey gives you the option. And plus you can go into Springboard and you can generally disable or e uh, enable certain things. Now this is the main point you wanna go in, which is applications. So here you choose applications for which you don't want to have jailbreak um, enabled. So you can see for each of the apps, you have these two options, disable tweak injection and custom tweak configuration. So here you can even select which one of the tweaks you don't want to work with certain apps. This is choice, it gives you, gives you several options. Now the next one is the old school one, which is Liberty Light. I use it, again it's enabled as you can see, so I'm using it for few apps and uh, not all of them. For example, for these two apps, it works for majority of the apps, it doesn't work, so again, still depends on, the, on uh, each app basis. So this is number three, this was Liberty Light. Now the next one, uh, not shuffle, sorry, shadow. Shadow is another uh, jailbreak detection uh, tweak, which uh, has very similar settings for each of the apps currently. I don't think I have any of the apps enabled because I installed it recently. I think I need it for some of the apps, but I still haven't, haven't come, up, come around to do it. So you, can, you have few options. You can enable shadow, you can disable shadow for safe apps and here you can have blacklist mode and whitelist uh, mode. So you can select for all the apps or just disable few and and vice versa. There are many other there are many other uh, settings that you can change. To be honest, I didn't go into all of this because currently I'm not I'm not using it. But uh, it can be it can be a good thing to have multiple 
uh, multiple tweaks like this just in case one of these tweaks doesn't work and the final one number five is tweak restrictor this is the first one i started with when i uh you, when i wanted to remove the jailbreak detection pretty straightforward it gives you system applications and gives you mobile applications so systems are the basic apple applications that, you, that come with it and mobile applications are all the other apps that you have installed so you can see i have for some of these enabled and for me luckily enough luckily enough it works so this is it this is it i've shown you the five uh, five uh, jailbreak detection tweaks which work but again disclaimer i'm repeating myself please make sure that you test it so you my suggestion is when you want some app not to recognize your jailbreak select one of these uh, tweaks see if it works then select the other don't enable all the tweaks for all the apps it might get messy so this is this is it thank you very much for watching it's a short video and have a nice day